Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. For the scent of the day, I have my wax melt warmer going with Meadow Showers from Yankee Candle. And the second thing I have is this mini candle going. And I just put this one in here and it's from Yankee Candle and it's called Catching Rays. And it smells pretty good, but I wouldn't say it's a fall scent at all. If you're new around here, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you will never miss anything interesting. And I also do upload every single day on Instagram and on Reddit. So if you like new daily updated content, be sure to go follow me over on there. So here we are with another Sunday video, but today we're gonna do things a little bit differently. We're gonna do the tutorial first and then we're gonna do the overview at the end. So that way, if you're only here for the tutorial, you don't have to wait for it. And secondly, I won't have to rush through the overview. But the palette that we're gonna be working with this week is from Beauty Creations and it's called the Cali Chic Palette. So let's move right on into the tutorial. Hey guys, welcome to the zoomed in close up version of myself. And like usual, we're gonna start with priming the eye and doing our tight line. So I'm just gonna take this really random wet and wild brush and my Revlon Candid Concealer. And I'm gonna put a few dots on my eyes and then just give that a good blend out. So for tight lining, we're gonna do something a little bit different today, and I would love to introduce you to this little eyeliner set. I got these on Amazon, and they are nothing short of amazing. You get the entire rainbow spectrum of colors in here, and these are pretty dang cheap and they work so good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the brown one out of here and we're gonna tight line with the brown one. So here's my brown one and they're just a retractable eyeliner. And I'm gonna just apply this to my upper waterline. I chose to go with brown for this look because we're using a lot of warm tones today and brown just gives it a more soft look. But now we're prepped and we're ready to go in with the eyeshadow. So the brush we're gonna use for a majority of this eye look is this little tiny pointed brush right here and these are actually nail art brushes. But this comes in a set and the set is $5 on eBay. And I will link these below because I believe these are a necessity in anybody's kit because these work so good. So the first shade I'm gonna use is the shade Laguna. And the first thing I'm gonna do is find the outer quarter of my eye. And I'm gonna put a little dot in the crease where that would be. For this look, we're gonna do everything in the crease. Nothing's gonna really come above the crease for this one. Now, once I place my dot, I'm gonna form a straight line. And I'm going to end where my brow ends. Now, I'm gonna find my lower lash line and start where the waterline is and bring this line up to match at the corner of the first line. And now once I have my general shape on there, I'm gonna go in with the same color and darken it up a little bit. And with the same brush, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in this entire shape. Now, once you're done filling it in, the next color we're gonna go into is called Beach Babe. And we're gonna continue the top line for the middle part of the eye. So once you draw on your line, you can go ahead and fill in the middle part of your eye with that same shade.
And now once you get to this part where you have to blend, just lightly drag some of the middle shade over onto the dark brown. And this brush actually does a great job of blending both the shades together. I just kind of go in zigzag motions down that middle line. And I kind of just blend both shades together. Now the last shade for this base that we're working on is called Marina. And you guessed it, we're gonna put this on the interior part of our lid. So first you wanna form the shape and connect it to the top line. Then once you connect it to the top line, you can bring it down into your inner corner. And then you can just simply fill it in. And then you want to do the same exact thing when you get to the blending part. You just want to slowly drag it over to the middle shade. Okay, so this is our foundation for the look. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add some sparklies to it. So I'm still hanging with the same brush and the first shade I'm gonna go into is called Sail. And then I'm lightly gonna just gently tap this onto the brown part. And then the next shade is called Boardwalk and I'm gently gonna tap this onto the middle section. And then the last shade that we're gonna use is called Tan Lines. And we're gonna put this on the front section. So really, that's all there is to the top eye look. But for the next step, I'm gonna take that same brown eyeliner that I used for the tight line, and I'm gonna go into my waterline with this one. So for this next step, I'm going to go in with a thicker type of angled brush and we're going back into the shade called Laguna and we're going to apply this on the lower lash line from the inner corner all the way to the outer portion. You want to try to match it up with that outer section as much as you can. And now I'm going to take a really flat fluffy brush and go into the shade Marina. And I'm going to use this to kind of gently buff out this brown shade that we just put there. Now for the last steps, you want to grab your favorite inner corner highlight brush and go into the shade Venice. And we're going to do a matte inner corner this time and just stick this right in your inner corner. And like I always say, you can go ahead and highlight the brow arch if you feel like it. I think a matte on the brow arch looks really pretty. So yeah guys, that's the entire eye look. So I'm going to go do the other eye off camera and I'll be back to show you how I do my mascara and then we'll get into the overview. Okay, so here's the final look with just mascara. And if you do want to see it with lashes, make sure you check out the Saturday pictorial. And I will have that link below for you. So yeah, guys, it's a super easy eye look and it's definitely very fall inspired. So if you have this palette or if you try to recreate this look, make sure you tell me below in the comments because I would love to hear about it. And stay tuned because we're going to get right into the overview next. Hi guys, welcome to the second part of the video, which is the overview this time. 
And like I said earlier, we are gonna be reviewing the Beauty Creations Cali Chic Palette. And the first thing I would like to mention is the packaging. This is just a simple cardboard packaging with a magnetic closure. And if you open it up, inside there's a mid-size mirror. And then here's the color story. And there are nine eyeshadows in here, and each one weighs 1.3 grams. And within this color story, there are five mattes and four shimmers. So the matte formula is just a generic matte formula. It works well, it blends well, it builds well, and it layers well. There's nothing wrong with it, and I had a great time using it. The shimmers, on the other hand, are a very thick formula. They apply with a strong base pigment, and they pick up very easily with a brush. The shimmer formula has a lot of mineral oil in it, so it does tend to crease on me. As you look at this palette, there's a very nice light to dark gradient in here, which I always look for. And now I'm gonna pop up some swatches of this palette so you can see how every shade looks swatched out. And now I'm gonna give you guys some information about this palette. This color story was created to exemplify the colors of California in the late summer. And the second thing I do want to tell you is that this is a total dupe palette for the ColourPop California Love palette. This palette is cruelty free, it is not vegan, and now we're going to talk about my favorite part which is the cost breakdown. So if you went out and bought this palette as it is today, it would cost you $14.99. And breaking that down a bit further, it comes to $1.67 per shade. And breaking that down even further, it comes to $1.28 per gram. So as you can see, it's quite an affordable little palette right here. So upon using this, I did get a ton of kick up in the pans, but I didn't get any fallout on my face. When using the shadows, I didn't get any patchiness at all, but I did get some creasing after about 10 minutes of application. And like I said, it's because of that hefty amount of mineral oil in the formula. But I think overall, it's a pretty decent palette, and if you're interested in it, I would say go for it. So yeah guys, that's all I have for today's video, and if you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up, and if you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down button. And until next time, bye!